Welcome to my channel, my name is Jared and I just recently finished making this cool little prop that I'm calling a pumpkin burster. I had a lot of fun making it, uh, a lot of the techniques were pretty easy, but doing the prop overall, it was a little bit challenging and I'll talk about some of those challenges at the end of the video, but right now I'm going to show you how I made this little disgusting pumpkin burster guy. To make this prop, I used half a Bucky skeleton I had laying around and an old Funkin that I had started corpsing but never finished. I didn't use that top part. First, I had to start by finishing corpsing the Funkin, so I just mixed up some acrylic paint along with uh, some latex. About a 50 50 mix. Now the reason I do that is because if you take the acrylic paint and just paint it directly on to latex, it tends to chip and rub off really, really easy. But if you use this mix, it doesn't come off. And then once it dries, you can actually go back over it with just regular acrylic paint and it'll paint up uh, really nice. It'll still come off if you rub it too hard, but it does a lot better job than doing it just directly onto the latex. And here I just want to show that it dries a lot darker. Now I liked that color, but I wanted to go over it with another lighter color just to give it a little bit more of a variety and make it look a little bit more interesting. So I just took a lighter shade orange, and this is just regular acrylic paint that I'm brushing on. You can see now the double paint just makes it look a little bit better in my opinion you can see both colors but to make it look even better I decided to do a black wash uh, where it's just some watered down black acrylic paint and I'm just gonna take and paint the entire pumpkin with this this is gonna give it uh, more depth and also make it look like or I was hoping to make it look like it had been laying in topsoil for a long time like it had dirt stuck in all the cracks And now we're just wiping it off and you can wipe off as much of it as you want or as little of it as you want I'm just using a regular dry blue shop towel but uh, you could use a wet paper towel or a wet rag and it'll wipe off even more of the paint mixture and it turned out pretty good I thought it looked like what it, I'd hoped it looks like topsoil stuck in the dirt to me and also the black just adds like I said a little bit more depth up next I had to start working on the Bucky. Now this loose Bucky arm I started corpsing separate from the regular Bucky. I like to corpse my hands before I pose the Bucky. I've just noticed that sometimes I put them in poses where the hands are really hard to get to. So I like to do it ahead of time. And here I'm just using a cotton and latex mix. And then I'm going to go through and peel apart some of the cotton just to expose some of the bones of the hands and then I just set it to the side to dry. So the Bucky Skeleton's right hand that I pre-corpsed because I knew it was going to be difficult with him grabbing the side of the pumpkin there. So next what I'm going to need to do is fasten this guy inside of the pumpkin. I had a little bit of great stuff already in the bottom and then kind of picked apart a little hole to stick his spine in. I'm just going to use expanding foam gap filler. I'm going to spray it in all around the bottom of it and around the back on his spine. Not too much because I didn't want it to touch the ribs or the arm. Just enough to stick him in there or get him from coming out. So, not too much. I knew I was just going to cover this up later anyway. And next. I took a hot glue gun and hot glued the joints together. Uh, some of these smaller joints, I usually put a black screw in there or to hold it, but uh, these small ones, that can be a little bit difficult, so I noticed the hot glue holds it in place just long enough for me to go ahead and corpse it, and then they're usually fine. And for this particular Bucky, I went ahead and used three different materials to corpse him. Up first, I used blue shop towel. And the reason I did this is to because I didn't think the second material was going to hide 
the fact that his chest cavity had been filled with great stuff. I do like using this blue shop towel though. It's uh, pretty good. It makes better flesh, like if you're going to flesh out the Bucky more. I've got a little bit around his neck here. The second material that I used is one that I don't use a whole lot, but I wanted to give it a go for this guy, and it's spider webs. I just take, cut a chunk of it out and dip it directly into the latex and kind of stretch it and work it and stick it over. It looks real interesting, and I like it. Uh, I'm not really good with it. I need to get a little bit more practice, but I liked the way that it ended up turning out for this prop. I did notice that dunking it directly into the latex soaked up a ton of the liquid latex. So I, I feel as though I used more of that than if I would have just used the paper towel or cotton balls. Cotton balls is my preferred method of corpsing and that is what I decided to use on the skull here. I didn't want to use a ton, but uh, I kind of wanted it to look like some... I wanted a good amount of his skull to end up showing through the cotton, but... And I wasn't feeling real comfortable using the spider webs yet, and that's why I chose not to go that method. I'm sure you could, and uh, I've seen people do amazing work with this, uh, latex and spider webs, but I didn't want to risk it for this prop. And here I'm going to take some cheesecloth and stick it into a latex acrylic paint mix. And this is going to be thrown on top of the exposed great stuff that's in the bottom of that pumpkin. This is just going to kind of help hide it and use it as the base layer for the pumpkin guts that I'm going to be adding to the pumpkin later. There it is, just shoved in there. I made a little bit of a mess on top of the bucky, but... I had plans to paint over it anyway, so I wasn't real concerned, but I didn't want to get any on the pumpkin, and that's why I'd wrapped it in the plastic. So here I had taken and put a base coat of tan on there, and now I'm just dry brushing over some peach to make it look like flesh. Just lightens it up. I'm doing a little bit more around the skull, as you can see some of the bone exposed that I was referring to earlier. But, I want this guy to look like he came out of a pumpkin. So if he'd been in a pumpkin, his flesh in my mind would have had an orangish tone. So here I'm doing a orange wash. Just acrylic paint and water. Just like I did for the pumpkin earlier. Getting it all over him. I'm going to do the entire thing. Uh, bone, teeth, latex, everything. And here I am just wiping it off. This is just to show you the different tone. And like the pumpkin, you can wipe as much off or as little off as you would like. Take the pumpkin guts that are going to be hanging off of this pumpkin burster. I'm going to use the same technique that I make pumpkin vines using. I'm going to just go over this real quick. I did make a video on it, but if you didn't see that, basically what I do is I take mostly latex with some paint, mix it up, and then I'm going to dunk the, the creepy cloth into this, smash it up, and that's what I'm going to use to... And here I'm just messing around with the creepy cloth, trying to figure out how I want the pumpkin guts to hang off of the Bucky skeleton. And now the fun part. I'm just taking that latex mixture with my fingers and smashing it into the creepy cloth and making little pumpkin guts. I did use a second method. I also cut swaths of that creepy cloth and dunked it in directly into it uh, down here where I'm pointing that's what I used I like that look better I didn't end up liking what I did on the chest but I mean it doesn't look terrible but it's it's not quite what I was going for all set with the pumpkin guts all over him so it's pretty wet so I decided to take it outside to let it dry a little bit quicker and he's a little orange even though he's supposed to be orange because it came out of a pumpkin but I think I'm going to knock down some of that orange with a black wash. It'll be the exact same technique I used when I did the orange wash on his skin. So I'm not going to show it. I will just show the finished product when I'm all done. The other thing I did was took a Dremel, cut between his teeth to make him look a little bit better. And then took a little acrylic paint in some of the areas where there was bone. Just to make him pop a little bit more. So, he's almost there. 
and there we go finally complete I went ahead and did the black wash all over it and then after I did that I went and mixed up some pumpkin seeds with a little bit of clear glue and the uh, oranges acrylic paint and just kind of smeared it on there I don't know if that'll actually hold that's not how I usually do the pumpkin seeds I usually do like a little latex and stick them on and that does work and keep them in there but I don't know let's try something new I'm pretty sure if it gets <laughs> wet though it'll wash it away because it's waterproof glue but it looks cool I think I had a lot of fun making this but there was a couple challenges a couple things I'd do different first thing I would do different is I would corpse the Bucky skeleton before I stuck him in the pumpkin uh, putting him in there he was really hard to work around it helped that I took the one arm off to position so I was able to get my head out of the way here I was able to work around it a little bit but like I said I, I doing it over again I'd completely corpse him and probably even paint him before I stuck him in there and great stuffed him in number two I wouldn't use two different kinds see if I can get, look at this here we go this stuff worked great this creepy cloth and I bought that on Amazon and I'll put a link in the description below I don't have an affiliate link or anything it just that happens to be the creepy cloth that I use the rest of the creepy cloth the kind that kind of clumped a little bit right here that was from Dollar Tree and I've used it many times to make binds uh, but for whatever reason it didn't want to pull apart it was like drying really fast and clumping and I was having difficulty breaking it apart so I would do that different and the other thing I would do different is I put a lot of great stuff up inside the chest cavity I don't think you need that you can't even see it so that was kind of just a waste of time but I hope you enjoyed watching me make the little pumpkin burster uh, if you didn't like the prop hopefully there was at least something in there you saw that you did like that you can use to inspire for, as inspiration to make your own props so thank you for watching